Now where's the toaster? I'm looking for the toaster. I would like to toast some bread. There's the toaster. Hello toaster! Hi again. You're watching Greg's B Eats and we're in Chinatown Complex to try Millennium Glutinous Rice which sells just two dishes sweet glutinous rice and savoury glutinous rice So, uh, let me explain Back in the 1950s and 60s sweet and savoury glutinous rice were common breakfast staples which were sold by street hawkers in Singapore but in current times these dishes are an increasing rarity Sweet glutinous rice in particular was so hard to find that by the 2000s there were literally only a couple of stalls selling them. Harry Ann's and New Church Sui famous glutinous rice. The dish threatened to become even more rare when New Church Sui famous glutinous rice closed for good in 2012. And they were one of the best in the business. The elderly men decided to retire when one of them had fallen ill. That was when then 50 year old Stephen Lam came into the picture. After being retrenched from the engineering manufacturing industry, Lam, who is Hakka, decided to continue the 40-year-old legacy of Nutra Sui famous glutinous rice. He opened Millennium Glutinous Rice in 2013, selling the same sweet and savoury glutinous rice offerings that Nutra Sui famous glutinous rice was selling. Lam did a lot of experimentation and after a few years in the business, some customers claim that Lam has replicated Nutra Sui's exact recipe. And the standard is almost there, or is there. So come, let's have a taste. One sweet and one salty. Eating here? Eating here, eating here. Okay, we have got two plates here. We've got the uh, sweet one and we've got the salty one. So the plate without the peanuts is the sweet one. And the salty one normally comes with some uh, steamed peanuts on top. Uh, you can opt to have it as separate plates if you want to or you can opt to combine it both so that you actually get sweet and salty on the same plate itself. Both offerings are freshly made every day with the rice, the glutinous rice which is first steamed, then fried with vegetable oil. So let's try the savoury glutinous rice first. Mm. Oh my god! The highlight is the texture of the rice. It's nicely sticky, but it's not mushy. It's got a nice firm bounce to each rice grain. It's wonderful. The savoury glutinous rice is a Cantonese dish. It's actually got a very basic, but a very, very appealing taste. It's the taste of the rice, the salt, and the oil richness. Then it's jazzed up with fried onions and stewed peanuts. But let's try the peanuts. Got salted, stewed, soft. It's got a peanut flavour, very nice actually. It's got that moist but dry sort of texture. So obviously they put in the peanuts for extra protein and a little bit of the extra peanut creaminess inside. Lam used to put sliced mushrooms in the beginning but um, he has since phased that out. Lah. It was probably too expensive or something like that. Now the fried onions which he puts on, the reason why I'm highlighting them is because they're actually worth a mention. You get a lot of fried onions on every dish. It's liberally poured on. It is fried by lamb every day. And it doesn't have that overly crunchy, dry texture that factory-made fried onions have. The fried onions have a very distinct onion flavour. And the texture is crispy with a slight chew to them. It is really simply excellent. And of course, it's got the oil richness, a bit of oil richness to it. The sweet glutinous rice. Again, the rice is firm and bouncy, very nice. It has sugar and it's got a hint of salt added for that very slight savoury sweet effect. But there's only a very small amount of salt added. As for the amount of sweetness inside, right? You know, some people like it with more sugar, some people like it with less sugar. To me, this is just right, but a little bit over. So it really depends on the sort of person you are. You might find it too sweet or just right. No. So what some people do when they have both dishes is that sometimes they eat it together. So there's the sweet here and there's the savoury here. Mm. 
Okay. You can get this unique sweet savoury flavour and it actually nicely balances each other out. It's not too salty, it's not too sweet. It's sort of like compliments. Okay, all right. So I've actually left a lot uh, over, but uh, my wife wants some, so I'm going to pack some for her. Okay, so that was a quick look at um, Millennium Glutinous Rice. A very, 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 very rare snack in Singapore. The savoury one is probably a little bit more common. The sweet one, not as much. Lam used to sell uh, chi chong fan, the rice rolls, and they were actually surprisingly well done. But he has since uh, phased that out. Lah. I suppose there wasn't enough demand. Because there are like plenty of uh, chi chong fan stalls in Chinatown Complex anyway. And there's another store which actually sells sweet and salty glutinous rice, that is Harry Ann's. Um, if I were to really compare the two, I would say that this store is much better. But that's just my opinion. You can go to Harry Ann's and try it for yourself, see whether you like it. But whatever it is, both stalls need the support which you can give. Lah. Because it's so hard to find sweet and savoury glutinous rice in Singapore anyway. As for why it is so rare, I have no idea. I suppose people have moved on. They've gotten more affluent. They want breakfast options which are which are more rich, which are more hearty, I guess. But there's something nice about the simplicity of these two dishes, which I like. Lah. Would I travel half across Singapore to eat this? That's a problem, you see. It is a simple dish. I don't think many Singaporeans would actually bother to, to travel so far to actually eat this. Lah. They may come here and eat a whole bunch of things, you know, but this is probably a must order. Again, as I keep saying, if you live in the area or you work in the area, as for whether it is as good as the stall last time here, uh, Nutra's way, famous business rice. Frankly, frankly, I can't remember what it tastes like. So um, I remember eating it and I was very young, but I didn't really pay attention to it. As far as I know, this version tastes very nice and it's good. Maybe the flavourings could be a little bit more subtle, perhaps. Maybe the sugar a bit less and the salt a bit less to actually showcase more of the flavour of the rice. But I'm really just picking one. Um, but those of you who have actually tried Nutra's way, famous glutinous rice, Tell me if it actually compares, you know, because I know that um, at least for Millennium Glutinous Rice, his quality was a bit shaky in the beginning, and I have tasted it over the years, and it has changed. You know, it's gotten better and better and better. That's what I believe. So thanks for watching another episode of Great Speed Eats, where we eat through the whole of Singapore. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Watching Craig Speed Eats and uh, Hi, you're watching Greg Speed Eats and we're in Chinatown Complex to try 